Welcome back. Peru's capital, Lima, has been growing faster than ever in recent years. With that expansion is a growing endangerment to some of its most important treasures. The city was founded by Spain in 1535, but its history began long before that. Lima possesses more than 360 archaeological sites. Many of them are ancient ruins that are threatened by the presence of humans and industry, namely miners, squatters and construction companies. But as correspondent Dan Collins reports, archaeologists may have found a way to protect these meaningful sites by using today's latest technology to protect the city's rich history. He brings us this report. It might look like a hobby, but in fact, this is work. You could call it remote control archaeology. Hovering above this ruin, this drone is doing the painstaking work archaeologists would have to do on the ground in a fraction of the time. Field archaeologist Remba Martinez is using his drone to map the Huaycan de Pariachi site on the outskirts of Lima. With this drone, we can do the work in two to three days. A camera mounted on the drone takes five photos per second. This bird's eye view from a machine that's small enough to fit in a suitcase. It's thanks to the initiative of field archaeologists like Remba that technology from the military industry is now being used to 3D model some of the many thousands of archaeological sites in Peru. Combined with GPS readings, the data, known as cloud points, is used to map a three-dimensional model. The result gives archaeologists the big picture, from every angle, but also the finer details. It's a huge leap forward from the tedious process of drawing up flat maps. And speed is of the essence. A new law has tightened the deadline for finding out whether land slated for development might contain artifacts from Peru's past. 20 years ago, there were more archaeological sites, but also they were more poor. And now there is this, um, uh, this kind of thought of people that we have to grow and also build more. And uh, it's sad because we have one of the um, most important cultural heritage here in Peru. And I think that people need to think about the economy, that it's good, but also about the culture. Using drones, archaeologists can set out boundaries, monitor threats, and create a digital repository of the ruins. And there are more than 360 plus pre-Columbian ruins in Lima, better known as Huacas. With more competition for land, squatters are moving in. You can already see them just a stone's throw from this archaeological dig, where we find a man who calls himself Julio, making home improvements. He tells us more than 40 people live inside the zoned archaeological area. Despite legal injunctions, squatters continue to invade the less protected sites. Many, like this, the Mateo Salado Huaca in the city centre, have had human settlements for years. Already heavily looted, its panoramic view is now threatened by buildings under construction. The tall buildings that you see behind me are interfering with the view of the city. It's a strong visual interference. Is there room for these relics of pre-Hispanic Peru as the capsule grows apace? The Huacapuyana shows the answer is an emphatic yes. The people are really pleased with the recovery of the archaeological site. Before, they saw it as a rubbish dump or a mound of dirt. People would come here to do anything but cultural activities. Now we have school visits and the residents here are involved. This is an experience which could work at other sites. It's been Isabel Flores' life's work to transform this waka into one of Lima's top tourist attractions. And it's economically self-sufficient thanks to a partnership between Peru's culture ministry and the local authority. Beautifully restored with 
fine dining and visited by thousands of tourists every year, the Waka Puyana is perhaps the best example in Lima of how to maintain an archaeological site in an urban space. Peru is best known for Machu Picchu, a stunning 15th century Inca citadel. But archaeologists are just as excited by older chapters of Peru's pre-Hispanic past on its arid coast, long before the Inca Empire. But the culture ministry admits only a fifth of Peru's 13,000 plus archaeological sites have been properly marked off. Today's do-it-yourself drones are cheaper and easier to use than ever making them a welcome option for a ministry with a tight budget and a lot of culture. As Dan mentioned, drones are a cost-effective way for archaeologists to monitor sites. In fact, drones can be manufactured for as little as $2,000 or less.